An explosion in Orange Walk has left one man injured and a house completely destroyed. Love News understands that sometime after midnight, a loud explosion was heard in the Custardapple Street area of Orange Walk Town. When neighbors came out to see what had happened, they found 46-year-old Raimundo Dominguez suffering from burns to his body and the house destroyed. We spoke with one of the people who was first on the scene. I got to the place where the thing happened, and so I see how the man come out with the from the inside to the for the house, right? And he had the skin and everything pillow up on the body, and so he said, "Please call the ambulance because because um, I feel bad, 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 so I can't do nothing right now." And well, the ambulance take long for come, so the teacher um, Carrera he carried to the hospital like at least one third or so. Well, after that, no see nothing else. Can you tell us what happened? What Jose, happened? Jose, he left one cigarette and one candle for, for see because he no got the light inside, right? Mm -hmm. Two houses away, Pablo Castillo said he heard what sounded like a bomb. For me, I, I, I heard the explosion or explosion, but for me, that not sound like an like explosion of a gas. That's, that may sound like one bomb, right? But someone said that uh, um, a that gas, so I, I can't say, can say that what. So you can say what happened? Well, when I reach it, everything is done under control already. I see the fire engine and the police van when they can, eh? that's all. Dominguez's brother, Jose Dominguez, says the semi-concrete house with zinc roofing was recently built and his brother had only been living in there for a week. So they, they tell him that uh, Belize right now, he's in uh, Belize. He say burn up, burn up. He lived alone? Yeah, he, well, his son, his son sometimes comes here. But I don't know if his son is a Belize. Or, uh, this morning when I came out to work, they, they tell me that his house exploded. New, new brand house so on Saturday when we inaugurated. So you just moving in and Just, home? just moving in and out. Substation officer at the Orange Walk Fire Station, Kenneth Mortis, says the investigation into the incident is ongoing, but has them baffled as to what may have caused the explosion. At the moment as it is, we're trying to work with the police and probably neighbors who might know something to help us come up with a cause as to what exactly caused the explosion. If it wasn't as a result of a butane tank that exploded, what do you think uh, or what is it that you're gathering at this point that may have caused this explosion completely destroyed at home? Not wanting to speculate, but looking at the damage, um, it has to be something heavy. Heavy meaning some kind of chemical or something to that nature. Um, like I said, the information is still sketchy and um, we're trying our best to at least see if we can come up with something concrete as to what caused the explosion. Um, we're hoping to, if possible, have a word with the with the, um, with the victim, if he's in a position to speak with us at the moment, or if we can even get a hold of any of his relatives that might know something to help us. I was at the scene this morning and I did not observe a stove or a gas tank. Can you say if you saw a gas tank there this morning or, or early uh, this morning or what's the case with that? We did see a stove, we did see a tank. It was a relatively new tank. There was no fittings and um, we have gathered that the house had no stove. The gentleman was expecting a stove sometime today. Um, hence the reason earlier I said that we can definitely say it wasn't as a result of a butane explosion or an electrical explosion. This is something different, something that I haven't seen before in my years of firefighting experience. I've been doing firefighting 16 years. Um, I've had an incident like this before, but that was a result of a beauty and explosion, which was the definite cause. This one is something new. It's a bit challenging for us, but we will try to look at it from our angles. And um, yeah, we'll work closely with the police to see if we can come up with a cause. As far as your experience goes, when there is a when there is a fire or an explosion as a result of a of the explosion of a gas tank, um, do you find the butane tank intact? And was the one that you found this morning intact? From the two experiences I've had, the butane tank was uh, shredded to pieces, so to speak. This one that we came upon this morning, it was intact. It was brand new. It didn't he it didn't even have a crack. A dent, anything on that nature of it. Like I said, um, there was no tube into it, so we know for a fact that um, it wasn't connected to anything. The mystery is what caused the explosion. The concrete house was totally destroyed by the explosion. Jose Dominguez is hospitalized at the KHMH where he is receiving treatment. Reporting for Love News from Orange Walk Town, I am Manuela Ayuso Canton.